Dear Fony, the last two years have been, in a word, challenging. But you have always been able to adapt to new realities. You also saw your family and friends strive to keep their mental health in check despite so much uncertainty. How is the future for me? Is climate change still one of your biggest worries? Are there even more humanitarian crises in the world? As I write this, over 82 million people have been forced to flee their homes because of conflict, persecution, or human rights abuses. It is twice the number 10 years ago. What is the number as you read this? Remember Miret, the 25-year-old engineering student who fled before she could graduate? She was lucky to be alive and wondered whether she will ever have a career. Remember Diana at 14, struggling with the memory of fleeing home and learning to dance to help her cope? And this family, struggling with economic hardship and isolation during the pandemic? Where are they? One million children have been born refugees in the last three years. Over four million people are stateless, without identification. They are struggling to be seen. Remember when COVID-19 changed everything? When the pandemic began, it felt like we were all in it together, and it was a collective fight for humanity. Remember when we finally found a vaccine, but only a few people had access? By the time you read this, COVID-19 might be something you only read about. But I fear, unless we work together, it may still be as real and present as it is now. The last two years have also been a time of hope and resilience. We responded to the struggles in our community. We were fully present, engaged, and sought our own power. We felt welcome and shared so much with the communities that took us in. We were worried about our education and our future, but we kept going. Remember Ibrahim, the teacher who taught chemistry online for refugees so that they would not fall behind on their studies during the pandemic? And this school in South Sudan, where refugees and local students learning together were among the top performing in the country? We have made progress, working and building our future. I hope you are seeing those dreams come true. There is so much to look forward to. There is a lot of pain, but there is healing and growth too. I hope when you read this, there is more peace in the world, so that people forced to flee, especially women and girls like us, feel safe enough to go home, go to school, make our mark that regardless of our gender, age, race, sexual orientation, ethnicity or nationality, our rights matter. I hope that when you read this, you're back home, enjoying the rich, diverse culture of our people and rebuilding our communities. Future Foni, don't forget your struggles. Remember those who promise to protect you and help other displaced and stateless people. Hold them accountable. And hold on, tightest of all, to your strength and your victories. Yours, Fonnie.